Hey guys, what is going on? It is Carl here, back with another episode. We're finally getting around to another episode of what is on my smartphone, what's on my Android, in fact. This is the brand new Galaxy Note 7. A ton of you were asking me over on social what is the actual background, so I thought it would be a good idea to do both of these videos in one. Answer questions and what apps I'm rocking. The very first app that I checked out that actually got me this background is called Backdrops. Backdrops is essentially a wallpaper app and you can check out some of the photos that the community has submitted. You can see here that Sparring Stars, someone submitted that. I can either save it, favorite it, or set it to my current wallpaper. Some of these wallpapers, mostly the ones found in the community, are free. You can choose to buy some of the ones that cost maybe a buck or two, but for the most part, this app is free and you have to live with the occasional ad that pops up from time to time, but that isn't really a deal breaker since free stuff is always good. This wouldn't really be a Note 7 app video if it didn't have an art app into it, and this one is called Artflow, and naturally you can get your S Pen game rocking. This app is completely free. Some of the additional add-ons do cost a bit of money, but I found that using all of the free stuff, I could draw my heart's content, but I will admit I am not an artist. You can draw whatever is floating around in your mind. Don't judge this one, please. Send me some of your art. I will definitely respond over on social. I'll leave all of my info linked in the description. And the next app is called Goat, which is a strange name, but it's for all of you sneakerheads out there. I recently started looking at a couple sneakers, not dropping any money on Yeezys or anything, but if you're into that kind of stuff, you can browse all of the latest sneakers that have just come out, ones that are a bit harder to get, like all of the Ultra Boosts, like NMDs, Yeezys if that is what your heart desires, or something as simple as Nike Flyknit Racers, which are my personal favorite. You can buy sneakers either new or used depending on who's bought them, and you can see the different pricings for of course the different sizes. And in fact, if you're one of the people that wait in line and manages to snag one of these ultra rare sneakers, you can sell them here, make a bit of money, but please don't be that person that sells them for double the price of retail. Keep everything nice and fair. And the very next app is kind of jumping on the entire Pokemon Go bandwagon. I'm sure a ton of you have played it. This is called Pokemon TV. You can launch any episode of Pokemon or most of them, no ads or that I've seen. For example, let's take, within seconds, I've got Pokemon going. Please do not waste your entire life by watching Pokemon. It's not my fault, I swear. The very next app, you can once again use your S Pen. This is called Scribble Racer. You are guiding a line through an obstacle course or a raceway. You can always use your finger, but I find using the S Pen is way easier. And if you've got the soundtrack on, this really reminds me of Toy Story. Things get faster as you progress. You can collect all these additional bonus items like cherries, like coins. Uh, let me know what your high score is down below in the comments. And the very next app, I've actually seen a lot on Facebook. A lot of people are posting images processed by Prisma. That's the name of the app. It's for free. You can take a photo. For example, let's get a good one here. And from there, we can change all of the filters to make them look super artsy. For example, there are obviously a ton of fun filters to go through. Let me know which your fave is. And once again, hit me up on social. I'll leave them linked in the description. The next app is called Sports Games. It's once again free, and this kind of jumps on the whole Olympics theme. I know it just ended, but you can relive some of your greatest moments. You are controlling a little character. You need to tap on the little area when it says to. You can get perfect if you get right in the middle and things get faster as you progress, and you, of course, will run faster, throw the javelin further, jump longer, or even do long jump even further. And even though I just downloaded this game, these are my top scores in all of the different sports. Hopefully, I make new personal bests for all of these in the days to come. And this next app I actually just downloaded because it was trending over on the Play Store. It's called Flip Diving, and as the name implies, you dive and perform flips off a cliff. Tuck, one flip, two flips, three, into the water, good landing. Okay, I'm getting pretty high here. Things are getting dangerous. One, two, three, backflop. And the very last app that we're looking at is called Sign Easy, and it uses the S Pen in its perfect form and function. 
you can now sign documents, which I've been getting a ton of lately, and have an electronic signature. But usually when someone sends me something, I have to first print it, sign it with a pen, scan it, and I don't have a scanner, I usually have to do that at work, and resend it to them by email. Here you can use the sign easy, we'll tap on signature, tap on sign, I need to sign it. So this pops up for the initials, you can just type in KC, place that into the little initials box. And now that document is fully signed and you can send everything off right within your note. No need to print paper. I'm saving the earth one tree at a time. Those are my go-to apps for the Galaxy Note 7. Remember, I use the normal social media apps, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, but these are some of the unique ones. And if you know any extra ones, make sure you leave them down below in the comments. If you guys like this episode though, be sure to go nuts over on that like button as it does help me out a bunch. I'll try to do more of these what's on my Android, what's on my iPhone videos. The next one, of course, will be what's on my iPhone 7 as that's coming out. So make sure you stay posted, sub to the channel, and I will catch the rest of you in either my next episode or vlog. Peace.